Today I'm building a tomato trellis. Now before I begin, I wanna tell you that I've tried so many different types of tomato trellises, but I haven't been fully satisfied with any of them, and I think this is gonna be my go-to method from now on. So let's get started. I want these trellises to be as wide as my garden beds, which are four feet wide. So I'm using two eight foot long, two by three wood pieces, and one four foot long one to go across the top. I also got these L brackets off of Amazon and some hooks along with these J hooks. I think that's what they're called. I don't like the string on here, so I also bought some butcher twine. That way, once I use this up, I can just compost the other one. So I'm just gonna line it up. I'm gonna drill some deck screws in here, the kind that you don't need pre-drilling for just to make my life easier. And I'm gonna repeat the same thing on the other side. I think it would be fine just with the screws, but I just wanna be extra sure because I don't wanna have to go back in, take them down, and then fix any issues later down the road. So I'm gonna take my L bracket, I'm gonna place it right here, and I'm gonna try and make sure that it's in between the other two deck screws. That way I don't hit any of them. And I'm gonna attach them with some smaller deck screws. So that's ready to go. Next, I'm gonna take these hooks right here. I try to get ones that could tolerate a bit more weight and all I'm gonna do, oh, this, the, the grass is wet. Now this is four feet long, but I'm only gonna do three of these. That way each tomato plant has about a foot and a half because I know that they can grow very rapidly and I don't want them sprawling all over the place. You could measure this, but I'm just gonna go right where I think the middle is and then I'm gonna start screwing these in. So what I'm planning to do with this trellis is of course use it for tomatoes, but whenever I'm not growing tomatoes on it, I can also use it for things like cucumbers or peas or any other vining crop that I want to grow vertically. Because I have those hooks there, I'll be able to just hang these J hooks from it and then trellis up my tomatoes. And then at the end of the season, I can just cut off the string and it'll be way easier to take down versus trying to untangle every single tomato branch. I have a few more of these to make about two more after this, but this is what I'm gonna be left with. It's gonna be really tall so I can grow the tomatoes for quite a bit, but it's short enough to where I can use my ladder to reach them and they're gonna have enough space to really fill out. So now let's move it over to the garden. <sighs> oh shit, how am I gonna get it through here? <sighs> Okay. Ah. To install it, I'm just gonna try not to destroy my garden. Okay, right there. Next, I'm gonna attach it to the garden beds. Ah. So next I'm gonna take these hooks and I'm gonna start attaching them up here. For the bottoms, I'm just gonna take a piece of bamboo and I'm gonna cut it up to make it into smaller pieces. About right here. So I'm gonna tie this to the bamboo and then I'm gonna place it wherever I'm gonna put my tomato plant, which is gonna be pretty much where the drip is. That way they get a good amount of water. Here I have a few tomatoes that are being trellised in the exact same way. This one is the smallest one. It's gonna take a while for it to take off. All I do is as the tomato continues to grow, I just start wrapping it around and I make sure to get rid of the bottom leaves. I bet you're wondering why. <laughs> I remove the bottom leaves to prevent disease. If water splashes from the soil to the leaves, it might spread soil-borne diseases. And all that time I spent growing and caring for these plants goes on the drain. And this is what it'll start to look like as I continue trellising the tomatoes around. This is what the tomato trellises look like a few months later. These tomato plants still haven't reached the top, but they're already starting to flower. And truthfully, I have not been keeping up with pruning only because it's winter time in the low desert right now. In case there's some cool damage, most of the tomato will stay intact. And then in a few weeks, once it starts warming up, I'll come through and prune off any unnecessary suckers. But for right now, I'm just keeping all the foliage. Over on this side, I have another tomato plant right here. But in this section, a green bean vine started climbing up and it's almost towards the end of its life cycle. But as you can see, at one point it was full of really beautiful foliage and we got a good harvest of beans from it. So this trellis can definitely be used for a lot of things. <laughs> 